Hello, everyone. I would like to thank Team EOC and Ocular Emergency Team for this uh, opportunity. And I would like to congratulate them for this wonderful initiative. So I will be talking about chemical injury as an ocular emergency. So chemical injury is one of the true emergency in ophthalmology. And every minute counts when it comes to chemical injury from the time of exposure to the primary management. Uh, workplace injuries are more common than the household injuries, but I have seen a surge in household injuries in the form of accidental exposure to hand sanitizer. Alkalis are more common as they are part of various building materials and household cleaners. So lime is one of the most common injury amongst alkalis and various acids are also present uh, in our household, uh, you know, uh, with like a household like vinegar and uh, other uh, bleach and refrigerant uh, material. And the car batteries also contain sulfuric acid, which is also one of the most common exposure when it comes to acidic injuries. Another more common alkali, uh, which we get is a uh, firecracker injury during Diwali times, and it contains magnesium hydroxide. So acidic injuries are less dangerous as compared to alkali injuries because acid, you know, prevent uh, causes precipitation of the proteins and which prevents further penetration of the chemical into the eye, whereas alkali is Deep, penetrate deep into the eye and damage more ocular tissue. So chemical injury uh, needs to be classified according to the limbal environment and conjectural environment as Dr. Harminder Dua has you know, given this classification, which is a wonderful classification. Uh, he has divided into uh, six grades depending on the limbal environment in the form of clock hours and conjectural environment in the form of percentage of the conjectural tissue involved. Grade one being very good in the form of prognosis and grade six, which has very poor prognosis. No matter which grade chemical injury patient falls into, the immediate and emergency management remains the same for all grades of injury. So I will be talking about a case of 25 year old male who presented to me in my clinic in the evening time with the history of pain thinner fluid falling in his eye before 30 minutes before the presentation. He had severe photophobia, burning, sensation, blurring of vision and edematous lid, lids on examination, his uh, both eye has uh, had a severe congestion and he was very photophobic for the slitlam examination on fluorescent staining. You can see punctured epithelial erosions all over the cornea and there is a loose epithelium on the right eye, uh, you know, lying on the ocular surface. He had a small epithelial defect also on the right eye, but zero clock hour of limber involvement and conjunctiva was also healthy. His vision in the right eye was 6 by 18 and left eye was 6 by 24. So after a primary clinical examination, uh, the immediate uh, uh, emergency management was, uh, you know, planned under topical anesthetic eye drop. His eye was thoroughly washed using balanced salt solution. You can use ringer selected or normal saline, whichever is available in your clinic. After a complete eye wash, uh, he, he was, uh, you know, given bandage contact lens for symptomatic relief and early recovery as well. Antibiotic, he was started on antibiotic steroid combination along with a preservative lubricating hydro. And uh, he was given oral anesthetics, pain relief, and cyclopsic hydro to prevent you know, further ciliary spasm and pain. At one week, the bandage contact lens was removed. His ocular surface became healthy. His cornea was free from punctured epithelial regions in the right eye, but there were a few present in the left eye, and his vision was 6 by 9 in the left eye at that time. The antibiotic steroid combination was tapered and lubricating eye drops were continued for further four weeks. And he was advised to use protective glasses while visiting the construction site in future. So when it comes to chemical injury in emergency, the eye wash is the most important emergency management, following which topical antibiotic steroid combination, which is another most important management uh, to prevent further damage by the inflammation. So first thing is to remove the culprit from the eye. Second is to protect the eye from the inflammatory response. And then third, according to the damage and severity that comes as a surgical management. So generally grade one to grade two uh, emergency cases are good prognosis cases. Grade three and four are also good prognosis, but they may or may not require surgical intervention later. And grade five and grade six emergency cases require early surgical intervention in the form of amniotic membrane transplantation or tenant sexual advancement and furthermore. So in you need to be aware about use of topical antibiotic steroid and they need to be continued at least for three to four weeks after primary exposure and further management depends on the you know uh, grade of chemical injury as I uh, showed in the classification. 
these are the further uh, reading recommendations from my side they are available on the pubmed thank you so much